These are the brand new Beats Fit Pro, and this is the brand new Apple AirPods 3. Hey guys, Thunder E here, and thank you for joining us on another battle video. And as I mentioned earlier, it's between two Apple devices, which is something we, I don't think we've ever done on this channel. But if you wanna see more crazy things that we haven't done, well, hit that subscribe button, notification icon, and honestly, we don't do that many crazy things on the channel. But anyway, the, the Beats Fit... <laughs> okay, anyway, the uh, Beats Fit Pro are bit... <laughs> I can't pronounce the word as I... Bleh, bleh. So the, the Beats Fit Pro are the latest from Beats in terms of their uh, true wireless earbuds. And these are meant for the fitness lovers. You're gonna spend time in the gym, you're gonna be sweating a lot, and also you want to listen to some good music. Now I have to say though, earlier this year, uh, Beats released a pair of True Wireless Buds that really impressed me because I wasn't a fan of theirs in the past. And I have to say, these have come in the same way as we had earlier this year. Uh, in terms of audio quality, which I will start with audio first here, they've done a really good job. Um, the sound is clean and clear, uh, it is crisp, and you've got some really nice highs. Uh, your lows are much better, um, and your mids can be a little bit muddled. Now, how does that compare to the Apple, uh, the AirPods 3? Now, the AirPods 3 have some really good highs, as I mentioned in my video with the Galaxy Buds 2. Uh, the, uh, the mids are good, the lows not so much because of that open ear design. When it comes to the audio though, for, it, I think it's more preferential though, but if you're a Beats lover, you're gonna love this. I like it too, uh, but if you want something cleaner and crisper, the AirPods 3 would give you that audio. Now, we talked about fit a lot with the AirPods 3, and it's something that honestly does not fit everyone. While the uh, Beats uh, Fit Pro have a much better fit on a couple of levels, you've got uh, silicon ear tips that will help you rest within your ear. You've also got the wings as well, which help attach it to the upper rim of your ear so that when you're working out, it doesn't fall off when you're uh, in that gym session and you're focused and you're doing your workouts, it stays on, and which is great. And that I do like about this is because this is fitness focused and also taking that Beats tradition to a whole new level. Now, speaking of the Beats tradition, Beats usually has multiple colors, and that's they're no stranger here with the uh, the Fit Pro. The Fit Pro comes in four colors. I've got the purple with the black Beats logo. You can get in white. You've got like a, a gray. Uh, I can't remember the last color, but there are multiple colors you can pick from. While the Apple AirPods 3 do not have multiple colors, it only comes in white, which is very tra traditional standard. So if you want something with different colors, again, that's where that might be leaning towards. Now. The, both of them have some really good battery life. They do have 30 hours uh, with the case. Uh, the AirPods uh, have about seven hours, uh, while the Beats also have seven, but the Beats have about, uh, I believe, five hours with A and C, which is something the AirPods 3 do not have. And that is quite shocking to me, especially where they are, are in terms of pricing. Now, the active noise cancellation is pretty good on the uh, Beats uh, Pro. Uh, the Fit Pro. The Fit Pro, I would say it is below what you will get from the AirPods Pro, but very solid overall. And you do have a transparency mode, plus you also have uh, spatial audio, which you can find on the uh, AirPods 3. Now you look at everything I mentioned, and we get down to the price with the AirPods 3 at 179 and the Beats Pro at 199. You ask yourself a question, should I get the AirPods 3 or should I spend a little bit more and go to the Beats Pro, Beats Fit Pro? Because I get active noise cancellation, I have the same kind of audio. And that's something you might do, especially if you're on the Apple ecosystem and you want that ability to connect to multiple devices, as you can do with the Beats Pro, whether your MacBook, to your uh, iPad, to your, uh, your iPhone. 
Now, if you're looking for something else though, and maybe you are on the Android ecosystem where you can use the Beats Pro, by the way, although the app on Android doesn't give you full functionality, I've got something else for you that actually might fit quite well, which are the Soundcore Liberty 3 Pros. Now, the Liberty 3 Pros come in with four colors, uh, which you can select a multitude of colors from. Uh, they've got some really nice drivers and a solid fit with their own type of ear tips. And, a bunch of different options there for you to pick from. Now, the other thing I like about them is the robust application uh, where you can go in and of course change your active noise cancellation, which it has. You can also go ahead and, and customize your listening experience and also supports LDAC. And that brings me to the audio quality, which is absolutely divine on them. Really good highs, lows, mids. The lows really come out well and a very wide sound stage that helps you just feel the music. And honestly, this is one of the best pair of true wireless buds coming in at 170 and giving you a very different option from this other two, especially if you're in the Android ecosystem. All right, guys, I've given you three options here, the AirPods 3, the Beats Fit Pro, and the Soundcore Liberty 3 Pros. Let me know what you think about them and let me know where they place in your ranking. Otherwise, guys, thank you very much and always enjoy your entertainment.